Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick overview of a couple of new things from HGLRC. Now HGLRC are manufacturers of some very nice quadcopters. So it's interesting to see them branching out into other stuff. Now these are two products that I fancy getting in. Uh, this is the Thor uh, battery discharger, LiPo battery discharger. And this is the Thor Pro, which actually has basically that element here at the bottom. The rest of it is really for uh, balanced charging. And it has some nice touches. There are fuses in here. There's kind of uh, protection in case you plug something in the wrong area. But let's start off with the little Thor first. Now I'll put links down below if you want to go and have a look at these. Uh, I tend to discharge my battery packs down to a storage level after every flying day just to help keep them in really good health, uh, which is about 3.8 volts a cell. Now these are little battery dischargers. There's only one kind of control on it. There's a little button in there. Hopefully you can see that. XT60 only, but you plug it in, it reads the voltage of the pack, which is actually very handy if you're just at the field uh, and just want to see where everything's up to. And then you press the button, that's a 2S battery. A blue light is a 3S battery. The green light is a 4S battery, but we just set it to the level that you need. Uh, the button's kind of a little bit hidden away, depending on where it is, it's kind of in the middle of all this. So the blue light's a 3S battery, and it's gonna sit there and it's gonna discharge. Now the only downside with this, uh, well there's two really, first of all is this is going to dissipate the energy that it's pulling out the battery as heat, which let's face it most dischargers do anyway, uh, but it is has a relatively small area to do that, so this does get warm in operation. The other thing is that these dischargers pull a very small amount of current out of the battery. It, if you divide the voltage of the battery by 470, that's going to be your discharge current. So it is only tens of milliamps that it's actually pulling out. So it's going to take hours and hours and hours to discharge the battery. And I'm not sure that I would be happy about leaving this somewhere unattended for that period of time to discharge. Whenever I'm doing anything with the battery, whether it's charging or discharging, I like to be with it. My favorite discharger at the moment is the SkyRC BD200, I think it is. Uh, quite a beefy model, big heatsink on the top with a fan for cooling. Uh, that can pull a lot of current out the battery and discharge it in about the same time as you would discharge it on a model. Uh, the issue with this is this is gonna take an awful lot longer. However, in reality, what I'm actually doing is I'm popping one of these in my uh, bag just so when I'm at the field I can just very quickly push it on and just read the voltage off on this very clear to read display. So the way this works is that it'll stop discharging when it gets to an average cell voltage of 3.8 volts a cell and then it goes into kind of a sleep mode the screen goes off and it gets very quiet. So you could kind of plug this on and leave it but again I'm not sure personally how comfortable I'd be just leaving something like this plugged on for hours at a time. In terms of its bigger brother, uh, in the box you get the unit itself and then you also get the cables to plug it in. So you get the lead, so that's a 6S lead that you would put in the end here to go into your charger and the extension cable as well. So they, these would just go in the end and then you plug this into your charger. Now I know lots of people really like the idea when they're charging multiple batteries, uh, but this is quite a smart way of doing it. Not only do you have the little Thor thing at the bottom, so again, works the same way. This time we have the advantage of having an XT30, so you plug it in, exactly the same thing. You just select whether it's 2S, 3S or whatever. Uh, it would be nice if it kind of picked that up. Again, I would love a discharger that actually used the charge lead as well to monitor the individual cell uh, voltages and to get them exactly all down to 3.8 rather than just pull current out the power. Uh, but again, that isn't what we've got here. However, if we actually look at the rest of it, there's an awful lot of kind of cool technology on here. Maximum charge current for this is going to be 40 amps. Uh, maximum balancing current is going to be 2 amps up to 6S on the four batteries that you can plug in here. Again, XT30 and XT60 protection. In terms of the protection for the main power connectors, each of them is protected by a 15 amp fuse in case something goes wrong. 
And there's also protection here on the balancing connector. There's a indicator LEDs which let you know if you've not plugged it in right. So occasionally, I know when I'm rushing, I, uh, I have to kind of stop myself and make sure that I'm absolutely putting it in the right uh, connector so that I don't get it wrong. But occasionally you can be kind of one or two pins over. If you accidentally do that, then that is also protected by a self-resetting short circuit fuse, a little thermal fuse that actually makes sure that that can't happen as well. So there's those two new products from HGL RC. Uh, really interesting that they're getting into this. I hope if they continue to develop products like this, we get a bigger version of this that also uses the balance tap so that we can safely discharge a battery within five, 10 minutes and it will dissipate that heat, but also use the balance tap connector to make sure that all the cells are monitored and none of them slip below that magic 3.8 volts per cell. But again, links down below if you're interested in this. I'm gonna be watching the HGLRC website very closely to see what else they come up with. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.